What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to access your Eufy security cameras on your computer, have it be a lap laptop or a desktop. And I'm gonna put the link to the web address that you can visit in your browser in the description of this video. It's very simple, very easy. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you can do and what you can't do with the browser app on your computer. So again, uh, it'll bring you to this link when you're, uh, you click that link in the description of my video and it, you'll put in your username and your password for your Eufy security cameras, which ends up being the very same one that you use on the app on your phone and or tablet. So click login. Once you click login, it brings you directly into here. And there's a few things in here. On the left, you'll see a menu, camera, event, subscription, uh, settings, my devices, account, and about. You'll see your cameras in the middle of the page and even all Eufy cameras that you have set up. In the top right, it looks like a little guy for, I guess, motion detection. I actually don't know what it is. Uh, it doesn't allow me to uh, click on any of that stuff. In the top right, this button right here is gonna allow you to log out uh, of this page so that you can you know, log out. No one can see your cameras if you don't want them to. So we'll start off right here. This is gonna be a live view of your cameras. So just hit the play button in the middle of the video and it will load it up. And this is a live view. You can pause it. You can mute it so you don't hear any sound. And then you can also make it full screen. I tap that and I can see full screen of what I want. Next, let's click on my other camera here. And when I play this one, same thing, same controls, you know, pause, mute it, or increase the volume as well. Uh, and this is a live, you know, full screen view of that camera showing me the, the date and the time here. I have the battery percentage at the bottom here, but it doesn't show me the actual percentage number. It just shows how full it is, which I've had it for a little over a week and uh, battery life is definitely keeping up. Next, we have events on the left hand side. There's gonna be any events that it's recorded. Now, unfortunately, you don't see any here because of the fact that it only plays cloud storage. All the storage is saved on the home base station by default. And if you, so you don't have to get the cloud storage, but I would, would recommend it. I do plan on getting the cloud storage once I get a few more cameras. You can see it's unavailable to play the clip stored in home based local storage by web portal because they have been advanced encrypted. It's recommended you play them in the app or subscribe to the cloud recording service. So if you want to play them, uh, those clips that have recorded, you have to use your phone app or your tablet app. You can't do it from the browser. If you want to do it from the browser, you will have to sign up for a cloud plan. Speaking of cloud plans, you'll see subscription on the left here. Tap that and then click subscribe. And they have a bunch of plans on here that you can sign up for. They have a basic. Uh, if you have, this is these, these are going to be good if you have, I would say three cams or less. They're, these are going to be the, the better plans because it'd be a little bit cheaper. But if you have four or more plans or cameras, uh, you can see this is the, the premiere is definitely better. It, it will cover up to 10 cameras and it just makes financial sense at that point to get those uh, amount there. But for me, someone like me, I'd be better off getting the basic. I only stick with two, but I do plan on getting four or five Eufy cameras uh, in the near future. Next up, we have settings and you can see my devices account and about let's click on my devices first. And under my devices, I have home, backyard, and trash. Those are my cameras, that's my base station. If I click on any of these, it doesn't give me any controls for anything. It just tells me the model number, serial number, IP address, all that stuff. Nothing terribly interesting in here. When I click on one of the cameras, it again shows me very, very similar information. Account, it just shows me if I have an avatar set up, what my nickname is in there, and the email address that I have set up. Lastly, about, just gives me the security version that I'm running for my Eufy security system. And that's pretty much it uh, at that point. So if you don't have the, the cloud storage, you're only gonna be seeing live views of your cameras, but I would recommend getting the cloud storage. Reason being, somebody gets in into your house, they break into your house and uh, they stale your base station, you lost all your security footage. Or if there's a fire or somehow that base station gets damaged, all that security footage is gone. So having a backup cloud storage plan just makes complete sense. If, if, even, even think of it this way, even if someone didn't break in your house and maybe somebody didn't, uh, your house didn't burn down, but you still wanna view your security footage 
and the internet went out or the power went out, at the very least, you'd be able to view those clips in the cloud because as long as they got uploaded in time and saved before the electricity went out, you'd be able to view those clips um, anytime, anywhere, and you wouldn't need an internet connection at that point. So get the cloud storage. You know, it's a smart thing to do. Thanks for watching. If you want to view these cameras on your computer, the link is in the description. Very easy to access, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.